My name is Harry, and I talk about why I'm not so hairy. Welcome back to Harry Not So Harry. As you can see, I'm not in my normal location again because today I have another special guest. My special guest is my dad. Hello, hello, hello. And today I'm going to ask him some questions about what it's like to be the parent of a child with alopecia. So my first question is, what was your first thought when I first had a bald spot, like when they first found it at the hairdresser? So I think I picked you up from the hairdresser. I think you had a, uh, a fifth grade dance. I think it was. That's what Ma said too. And during that time, I didn't think anything of it. I just figured, you know, it was a bald spot and your hair would come back. I brought you home and went on about my business. And the next question is, what was your first thought when I was diagnosed with alopecia? And so when you were diagnosed, uh, I was confused, scared, uh, scared of the unknown, didn't know uh, what it was. Uh, and after your mom and I did some research, uh, I felt pretty good about it. Um, we just had to deal with, you know, day by day because um, you baby girl. <laughs> and so, of course, you know, we just had to, you know, uh, deal with it. And of course, try our best not to show you our emotions. Yep. And I think that my parents did a very good job of doing that because just all the things that they said that they went through, I honestly really never saw any of that. So that was good. So the next question is, what were some of your biggest fears when I was diagnosed with alopecia for the first time? Making sure that you were okay. Uh, making sure that your mom was okay. Uh, and trying to keep normalcy in the house. Um, and also trying to keep you know, my emotions and my concerns under wraps, um, but also, of course, being supportive for you and your mom. And the next question is, how did you handle me having alopecia, like at first? After getting over uh, the shock and uh, the confusion uh, and my emotions, it wasn't about me or your mother. It was about you. Mm -hmm. uh, so we wanted to keep things as normal as possible. And of course, during that time, you were playing soccer. Yep. And then we continued to expose you to other sports that you began to gravitate towards. And so we tried to keep things as normal as possible. Yep. And we figured by us keeping it, you know, as normal as possible, you would be fine. And it turned out that way. Yeah. And I completely agree with that because like I kind of mentioned when I did the interview with my mom, every like sport and everything that I played, they would make sure that alopecia wouldn't stop that. So like when I would do swim, I would just have a swim cap with the strap under or for my sports outside like soccer I would just have the headband wigs where it looked like everybody else and so I think that they also did a very good job with that as well and I was that daddy on that sideline you always heard my voice yep always <laughs> always heard my voice <laughs> because my thing we we're gonna get the job done get yep. 110 percent yep yep and for my last question I just want to ask you what is some advice that you have for other parents of kids with alopecia Love your kids regardless, I mean, because they're your kids, uh, and always support them uh, and understand that alopecia is a speed bump in the road. And, and of course, that's something that your kid can get over, you can get over. You also got to keep in mind it's not about you. It's about your kid. Uh, and, you know, you baby girl, yep. you know, I'm going to always love you regardless, yep. you know, and support, you know, your endeavors. I know I said that the last question was the last question, but before we end, I really want to touch on the topic that me and my mom talked about, which is relationships. So I just want to know your view on that. Okay. Uh, my view on relationships. My view on relationships or as it pertains to you? As it pertains to me, like having alopecia and everything okay. that mom was talking about. Okay. So I saw the last, well, the last two videos when your mother talked about it. You cool? Yeah. You good? Yeah. All right, well, if you good, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good yeah. answer. <laughs> I mean, that's my attitude about it. As long as you're good, I'm good. Because yep. to me, you can always be baby girl. So whatever makes you happy, I'm good. Yep. And I know you don't tell us your business. <laughs> I wish you would. <laughs> but I get it and understand that. Yep. But we're always here for you. You know that. Yes, I do. Okay? And I tell you all the time, over the past 23 years, I haven't had a good night's sleep. I don't think I slept eight hours straight over 23 years. <laughs> Because it's a baby girl. <laughs> Another question. How did you guys go about telling our other family members? Okay, so of course, you know, we have a close-knit family. Mm -hmm. uh, and when we told other family members, uh, mm -hmm. they were very supportive. 
one, they didn't know what it was. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. So we had to explain to them what alopecia was. Yep. After we explained it to them, they were very supportive. Uh, they wanted to know what they could do. Mm -hmm. um, and they just loved on you. Yeah. Are there any final words that you want to share to the parents of kids with alopecia? I do. I, I support your kid, love your kid. Understand that it's not about you. It's all about your kid. It's not about your friends. It's making sure that your kid, your child, is in a good space and just support them the best way that you can. If you do that, you'll be good. And also keep God first. Yep. Okay, and that wraps up today's video. I want to thank my dad for letting me interview him today. That's it. Yes, that's all. <laughs> that's all I got for you today. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And leave any comments or questions that you have below. Bye. Take care.